another uh, Saturday in the quarantine. Uh, don't have much to do. It's a nice day today. It's about eight or nine degrees Celsius. It was sunny a second ago, but there's a cloud overhead right now. So I'm thinking about going uh, for another paddle. Maybe do a little, little single blading on the river. Um, so if you watched my uh, last video where we were testing out Mark's new pack boat, uh, this is how it's changed since then. The water was up to about here. And as I said in that video, we were basically paddling on the land because the slow spots is where it overflows. Uh, so it overflows up on all of this grass and through there. Now the river is down inside its bed. And uh, so that's what it looks like. Much slower current, still higher than it is in the summer. But, uh, yeah, got nothing else to do, so I figure I'll throw the boat in and uh, paddle for a little bit. Also threw up my uh, tent trailer in the backyard. Just uh, some nights sleep outside a little bit, and uh, I also have a you know kitchen table and everything in there. I just throw up the laptop, and often days when I'm working from home, I'm able to just work from out here. So it gives me a little... A little more of a camping feel during the quarantine. The pudding doesn't look too bad, but I don't know if you can tell, even stepping on the rocks, the rocks themselves just slide through the mud, go down deep. It's a real pain in the ass getting into this river sometimes. I'm just so you know, I'm, I'm on the river right now paddling, so I'll, uh, no, it's fine, but uh, I'm only out for a little bit, so I'll be back in plenty of time to go to the pharmacy. Okay, bye. Looks like we got some ducks up ahead. Saw some sort of muskrats or something up in the water. to a double blade for this part because it narrows right here and um, the current gets uh, much stronger and I'm uh, just not good enough of a single blader yet. Now that Mark has his own solo boat, uh, probably get some more practice in this year, assuming that everything opens up. Still, it's so nice to get on the water. It's uh, something I don't take advantage of enough. And being stuck indoors for uh, for weeks on end, I really appreciate it even more. At some point I should uh, try fishing on this river. The water stays chocolate brown year round. But, uh, I'm still worth a try, but so far this year I don't have uh, my Quebec fishing permit yet. Uh, in Quebec you can't order it online. You have to uh, you have to go in person to, to buy it, so I haven't bothered in this whole
but at some point this summer I'll do it. This is my mother taking a picture of me in a canoe. <laughs> I actually sat here and I said, how the hell did he get down there? There's no track. No, it's the, the worst part about this is getting in because, like I said, even these rocks, when you step on them, they actually slide down in the mud. Yeah. So yeah, getting in and out yeah. is uh, dangerous. Yeah, that's where I slid this getting right. in. I mean, it's not awful, but it's yeah. not great. And your, your shoes get all muddy and shit. That's it, yeah. It's actually so dry, it's drier how, than it normally is. Right how now. far down did you get? Oh, just, I just went to the bridge. I went to the, up that way to the rapids and that way to the bridge. Because there's a rapid there and there's a rapid there. And honestly, that one, I've gone down it before and I've come back up it. It's not very difficult. But being alone and yeah. uh, considering we're not supposed to take any risks during the quarantine to avoid having, you know, to call for rescue yeah. services and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm just okay. I'm just having a pleasant paddle, not doing anything risky. Okay. Back to the quarantine. Cheers. <laughs>